Okay, what's up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again. It's a pretty big one because it is my top 10 best episodes of season 3 of Arrow. Yes, um, season 3 of Arrow has concluded, so what I'm here to do is my top 10 best episodes from this season. So, before we get into the top 10 list, I do have three honorable mentions. Um, my first honorable mention is the season finale. Um, my name is Oliver Queen. Yes, this did not make my list. I so badly want, because, you know, it's the season finale. You want this to make your top 10 best list, but, you know, I did enjoy the, the season finale. It was really good, in my opinion. It was a great season finale. Just the ending. Oh, yeah, by the way, spoilers are ahead. And the reason I'm saying spoilers is because I am going to be talking about some major things that happens in these episodes. So, yeah, you've been warned. Spoilers. Um, you know, just the ending I just thought was very, very odd. And it was like, what is going on here? You know, where Oliver and Felicity, they drive off into the sunset. I just thought that was weird, you know? So, yeah. My second honorable mention is Suicidal Tendencies, which is the one where the Suicide Squad came back, fools. And uh, I really enjoyed this episode. This was a great episode, in my opinion. You know, so I really enjoyed it. I thought the whole um, thing with the Suicide Squad was very interesting. So, yeah. Um, and my final honorable mention is the mid-season premiere Haha, <laughs> you thought I was going to say finale, which the episode was entitled Left Behind. And this episode was really good, you know, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great episode, you know, so yeah, really enjoyed it. Alright, so, let's get into my top 10 list with my number 10. So coming in at number 10 is Public Enemy. You know, Public Enemy, this episode, you know, practically was about, you know, Oliver, Oliver's the future. If, you know, he's on the run because, you know, uh, Ra's al Ghul framed him for, for killing people, you know. So, I really enjoyed this episode. This was a great episode, in my opinion. You know, it was like a rundown type episode. Oliver was on the run the entire time, and I really enjoyed seeing that. All of his friends and everything were on the run as well, you know. And this is where he's like starting to conflict about being the arrow because of this, you know. So yeah. Number nine is Draw Back Your Bow. Now Draw Back Your Bow was actually a very great episode in my opinion, you know. When I saw the preview for it, I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this episode, but I thought that was a great episode. I was like, wow, this actually surprised... I will say this is the most surprising episode because, you know, I thought I wasn't going to like this episode because of one thing. There was this villain called Cupid, and I thought, no offense, but I thought this was going to be absolutely dumb with, um, you know, this Cupid character. But, it actually was great, and she was actually pretty funny, you know, so... I thought the whole thing where she was obsessed with the arrow was actually pretty funny, in my opinion. I did like that. And overall, this episode had some great action, some great moments. My number nine is Draw Back Your Bow. So, it's now time for my number eight. And coming in at number eight is Broken Arrow. Now, Broken Arrow was a great episode. You know, I, I'm going to say that about practically every episode on this list. Um, you know... Uh, Broken Arrow, I thought, had a lot of emotion to it because, you know, uh, in Public Enemy, Oliver, not, not Oliver, Roy takes the blame for Oliver and friends himself as the arrow. And he's in jail and he's like, you know, you don't have to break me out. Don't break me out of jail. Roy gets stabbed and then he's not dead. And then, but no, Roy is actually leaving the town. Colton Haynes is not a series regular anymore, so... Yeah, I thought that whole scene was very emotional. It was just overall a great episode. Number seven is This Is Your Sword. Now, this was the episode before the season finale. Great episode, you know. We find out in this episode that Oliver's been mind-tricking us this entire time. You know, and he 
has, you know, just been playing playing a fool out of Raz Al Ghul. Malcolm Merlin is trying to convince everybody, you know, that Oliver's a good guy. You you get uh Tatsu Tatsu. Yes. Ha Fool, I remembered. Tatsu when she get when he gets Tatsu in, you know, I you know, and to help them and everything, I really enjoyed that. And then you know, uh, to me, probably the most emotional part of this, maybe of this entire season, when she stabs her husband, husband, Mosetu, Mosetu, I think it's that, I'm sorry. When she stabs him, and she's, you know, crying and singing him a, like a lullaby type, you know, it was just really sad. I almost, te I honestly almost teared up. It was sad, you know, because she had to kill the, fa the father of her son and, you know, her ex-husband. When Oliver puts the um that um virus in and you know practically tries to kill everybody, you know he he just he needs to do this. He 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 needs to be before so we can get his in, in his head and kill him. So you know I like that he is just too that he needs to be uh, loyal to him. My number six is the magician. Now, this episode was episode 4, and just, this was, was a great episode. I love this episode. I think this was the most underrated episode of the entire season. I think this was just such a great episode. No one really talks about this episode, you know. We get more of a backstory of why, you know, um, Malcolm is, and why he was a part of the League of Assassins, why he was a part of all of this. You know, so I did like seeing that backstory a bit. I enjoyed still that triple threat fight between Oliver, Nessa, and Malcolm. That was awesome. I loved this episode. Had some, you know, very intense moments. So yeah, number six is The Magician. So, let's get into the top five now. And my number five is... Uprising. This was a great, great episode in my opinion. This is where we have that ba the battle of Starling City, where Diggle, Roy, and Laurel get everybody from Starling City to go and fight Danny Brickwell's army, basically. And you know, I enjoyed that. And we saw the return of, uh, you know, Oliver. So I really enjoyed seeing that. That was awesome, in my opinion. This was actually the last episode in the entire season to get an A-plus for me. My number four is The Claim. Yes, the season premiere of Arrow. The Claim was such a great episode, in my opinion. You know, great start to, great start to the entire season. I think this might be my best season premiere of of the show overall. This was such a great episode in my opinion, you know, so much emotion went down, especially towards the end, you know, you see Oliver and Felicity go on the first date, and that didn't end well, let's just say the place went boom. You know, of course at the end, Sarah is dead, well she's not really dead because she's coming back in Legends of Tomorrow because she got resurrected by the Lazarus Pit, but for now she was dead, and it was a very emotional um, scene, you know, Laurel witnesses it, she like sees Sarah, she's like, Sarah, and then, you know, it was just very emotional, and, you know, Sarah was one of my favorite characters of the entire show, so, it was sad seeing her go. And my number three is Sarah. You know, episode two, and I thought this one, one actually had more emotion than episode one did, because we see her dead body, and you know, everybody's sad and everything, especially when we get to the funeral, like the fun when we get to the funeral, it's just so sad. I despise Laurel with all my fiber, with all the fiber in my being, but I will agree with her. I can understand why Laurel was being, you know, trying to find this killer, because, you know, that was her sister. Well, he wasn't the killer, but when they confront this guy, you know, she's like, I'm going to pull the trigger, and Oliver's like, this is not how you deal with things. So, yeah. My number two is The Brave and the Bold. Now, The Brave and the Bold was such a fantastic episode. I mean, this is the episode where we see The Flash and, um, you know, Arrow team up. This was great. I know, I mean... 
I loved seeing them team up together in this episode. It was so great. I believe it was in this it was in this one where they had the conversation where they're like, you know, this is how you shouldn't deal with crime and everything, you know, and Oliver's like, Well Barry, this is a town where we make silly nicknames for our villains, you know. So yeah, and I just really enjoyed that and they fought Captain Boomerang, which was great. This was such a great episode in my opinion, so yeah. Alrighty, it's time for the number one. So, drum roll, please. Splits! Woo! My number one is... The Climb. Yes, The Climb. No doubt about it. It's my favorite episode of season three. I mean... Man, oh man, oh man. Not only is this the best episode of season 3, but this is the best episode of the entire show. This episode was the most intense, the most nail-biting, and quite simply, the greatest episode of Arrow we have had so far. This episode was so amazing. This episode was so great. I loved it. The climb. Oliver is like, you know, I'll take the blame for Sarah's murder so they don't come after, you know, Malcolm and, and my sister. And he's like, you know, he challenges Roz to a duel. He grabs the swords to go and fight Roz. And Roz and Oliver's like, shouldn't you pick a weapon? And Roz is like, no, I'll just take yours away. And he has his hands b behind his back the entire time. And you're just sitting there buying your nails, just going like this, you're, ner you're on the edge of your seat the entire time, because you're nervous for Oliver, because Ra's al Ghul, he's here to play no games, people, he he's Ra's al mother pooping ghoul, okay, he's here to not play games, this is by far the best fight scene of the entire series, overall, what happens is, Ra's blocks it, cry chops him in the throat, stabs his side, what happens next, Ra, Ra says, Consider this. Oh, Blake's it. <laughs> he's dead. He's dead. And he's dead. Oh, he was dead. But you get it. He was dead. Well, that was by far the most shocking thing of this entire series. Because you wouldn't think they would kill the main character off. Like, you're just sitting there like... What? Like, you? this was my reaction the entire time. What is going on? What? No doubt about it. It's the best episode of season three. I love the climb. This not only, like I said, not only is this the best episode of this season, but the best episode of the series overall. I loved this episode. So that is my top ten best episodes of Arrow season three. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And you know, since if you guys are gonna miss me on on 22 Tiger Dudes channel. You can subscribe to uh, subscribe to my channel. I do movie reviews. I do TV show reviews. I practically do what all you know movie people on YouTube do. I would like to thank 22 Tiger Dude for letting me have this segment on his channel, and you know I cannot wait to come back on, in October when season four premieres. So I will hope to see you all as well. I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we will see you all in October. Peace.